Welcome to the Rowan County Citizen Access Tutorial. This website will allow you to view your permit and inspection status and schedule inspections. Creating an account. To create a new account, click on the Create a New Account button in the middle of the screen. This will bring you to the Citizen Access New Account Information screen. Please fill out all the fields so that we may match your information with the information we have in our system. Note the required fields that are marked with a red asterisk. These fields must be filled out before you can submit your request. When finished filling out the information form, select the Submit button. Your information will then be sent to the Inspections Department where it will be matched to your permits. After your information has been accepted, you will then be able to sign in. Logging in. To log into your account, enter your email address and password information. If you have forgotten your password, click on the password hyperlink, enter your email into the available space, and select the submit button. Your password will then be sent to you via email. To log in, enter your information into the fields on the right side of the page. After logging in, your home page will display. Your home page allows you to access all plans, permits, and recent inspections associated with your information. Under my plan review, this will list all plans linked with your information such as zoning permits, preliminary zoning reviews, and plans review. Under my permit view, this will list all permits linked with your information. Notice you can sort alphanumerically by each heading. The permit number will be the number that is listed on the right top hand corner of your permit that you received in the permit office. The project name will be the subdivision or name of the commercial job. Most of the time this will say none. The issue date is the issue date of the permit and the expiration date is the expiration date of the permit. Please remember that the issue date from there you have six months to complete your first inspection. The expiration date will then move to a year from your last inspection date. Under the status column will be the status of your permit. This can include active, finaled, or things such as hold for flood or signatures required. When signatures required appears, the inspection office will require signatures before inspections can be scheduled. If hold for flood appears, the flood administrator will need to perform a flood inspection or you will need to submit your developmental permit and proposed or as-built flood survey to the planning department. Under the type column will be the type of permit. For each new build, there will be a separate permit for residential or commercial, plumbing, mechanical, and electrical. Please remember for residential builds that all trade, roughs, and finals must be done and scheduled together. Recently completed inspections list inspections that were recently passed or failed. To view the notes associated with a passed or failed inspection, click on the inspection number. A detailed information page will then appear. The comments will end up in the comment section. Please note, if you have any questions for that inspector, their office number will appear beside cell phone. This is not their cell phone number, this is their office number, and please remember that our inspectors are only in the office during 4 to 5 p.m. The next screen is about citizen access. This has two links on the screen. One is search for property information. This will link you to search property that we will discuss later. The schedule and access inspection information will link you to the home page that we have already discussed. The next page is search by permit. This is a list of all permits that are associated with your information. If a permit does not appear on this page that is connected with your contact information, click the search button. This will allow you to search by permit number, parcel number, or address. Please note, this search will only pull from information that has your information connected to it. If you do not see a permit that is supposed to be listed on your account, please contact the inspection office as soon as possible. To view a permit connected to your information, click on that permit number. The permit information page will then appear. The permit information lists the permit number and status at the top of the page. At the top right hand corner will be a button that you can view your permit, which will be the same permit that you received in the inspections office. 
As you scroll down the page, a list of sub-permits will be listed underneath Permit Checklist. Clicking on these permits will take you to the permit information page for that selected sub-permit. The Inspection List allows you to view all available inspections for this selected permit. Please notice you can only select the scheduled date to alphanumerically sort by. Please remember that building type inspections will be listed underneath the building permit, plumbing type inspections will be listed underneath the plumbing permit, and so on for other trades. If you do not see a type of inspection that needs to be scheduled, please contact the inspections office as soon as possible. To schedule an inspection from this page, find the type of inspection from the list and click on the calendar under the edit symbol. The screen will then display a calendar. Select the next business day and select the update button. A pop-up window will then appear to let you know that your inspection request was sent. Select OK. Inspections will still be required by 3 p.m. to inspect the following business day. Please do not request inspections for more than one business day out. And please make sure the Inspections Department has your up-to-date phone and email information because without a spoken phone message, we will need to rely on your contact information that is already in our system. The next page is Search My Plan. Just like Search My Permit, this will list all of your plans connected to your contact information. The Show All and Search buttons will work just the same as they did in Search My Permit. To view your status or information connected to a plan, click on the case number. In this instance, we will click on a review, which will be for plans review. The plan status will then be to the right of the words plan status. This has many options. Approved means that your plans have been reviewed and approved and are ready for pickup, and your permits may then be purchased. If this plan status says submitted, your plans have been submitted but not yet been reviewed. If this plan status says under review, your plans are now being reviewed by our plans reviewer. The inspection request check page lists the inspections connected to your account information. Just like the other two pages before, show all and search work the same. To view an inspection, you may click on the inspection number. This will bring you to the inspection information page. Like before, you can also request an inspection date from this button. The calendar will then appear. Click on the next business day and select update. The last page will be the search property page. Enter in an address and select the search button. This will list all parcels associated with the address. To view permits or inspections associated with a parcel, click on the parcel number. This will list the permit list and inspection list of that parcel. Finally, to log out, click on the Log Out button. If you have any other questions, please submit questions through the contact form at the bottom of the page. This is the end of the Rowan County Citizen Access tutorial. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact the Inspections Department.